Hey everyone, it's me, Robert, again, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're doing something kind of fun and nostalgic. Uh, we're gonna be making cereal. We are gonna be making Captain Crunch flavored pork rinds, and we're gonna be eating them like cereal. Um, I'm a little nervous about this, a little more nervous than maybe I have been about previous experiments. Um, so let's get started. So I have a, a bowl with two ounces of pork rinds and you just want to break them up into little bite-sized pieces. So just want to do that. I actually think a fun little, ooh, fun little hack to do this faster is to put them in a Ziploc bag. So you just pour them into a gallon Ziploc bag. And then you just hit them a few times with a metal spoon. So. And I guess, and if this were for something where I needed uh, you know, finer, like, like a crumb. See, and that's how you, that's what you end up with. Um, I would use a rolling pin, because that would just speed things up. Um, now I will say, so the recipe is actually, it's not our recipe, it's from Amber's Keto Kitchen. Uh, so the recipe will be in the show notes. The recipe says that it calls for pork cracklin. I have tried making sweet things with pork cracklin and that pork flavor doesn't go away. So I'm going to try this with regular old uh, pork rinds, which I say not to do. And you know, if you've been following this channel for a while, when they say not to do things and then I do them, it usually comes out bad. But I feel like if we're going for flavor over texture or uh, even it like staying together when it's in the milk, I'm just going to go with flavor. I don't want my cereal to taste like pork. That's odd. So here are our bite-sized pieces. There are a couple pieces that stayed a little bigger than they needed to be. So now that we have our pork rinds ready to go, we're gonna make the coating. And uh, let's see. I'm gonna measure everything on a scale because that just makes things easier. The recipe calls for four ounces of coconut oil. Almost there. Perfect. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave and melt it. So there we go, 30 seconds was perfect to get it nice and melted. And now we're gonna add, let's see, we're gonna add four tablespoons of our homemade Swerve. Which this has been working out great. We've been making so many different things with it. So fully expect more dessert recipes. adding four tablespoons of brown sugar substitute. And then last but not least, we're adding two teaspoons of oat fiber. Gonna whisk this all together. So I just realized that the recipe actually calls for confectioner swerve, not regular swerve. Um, but I'm gonna keep going because this is just an experiment and uh, 
I, I might have, I will have varied results based on the fact that I didn't actually follow the recipe like I was supposed to. So at this point, I'm gonna pour this mixture over my pork rinds. Ooh. It's gonna be a little grainy, but it'll be fine. Spatula to get the rest of this sugar. I don't ever remember a cereal being super fine in terms of its uh, sugar content. I feel like this will be okay. Mix this up really well. And when I'm done mixing this, we're gonna stick it in the fridge for about 10 minutes in a covered container. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Our cereal is here. It was refrigerated for those 10 minutes. The recipe says to enjoy the cereal with milk, but I wanna know what it tastes like without milk. So let's take a little piece. Texture. Looks pretty well coated. This looks like cereal. Let's give it a taste. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't remember what Cap'n Crunch tastes like, but that tastes like cereal. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's put some in a bowl. Take a little half. I've got my fun panda bowl here. And I'm gonna put some almond milk on it. The recipe does say to use macadamia milk, which I believe macadamia milk is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more um, decadent, I think, in, in flavor than almond milk. And I'm actually using an unsweetened almond milk. So. All right, let's see. This is, uh, it's giving me very cereal. You can forget that you're eating pork rinds out of milk. Maybe you can get on board with this too. Apparently the milk tastes amazing too when you're done, so. All right, enough talking, let's try it. I am proud to announce that that is cereal. Delicious, sweet, very sugary. Um, there's a slight pork rind aftertaste, uh, but it's not enough to ruin the experience. I'm actually going to take another bite. Mmm. Mmm. Let's do one more bite. Yeah. Hats off to you, Amber. This is, uh, this is a great recipe. Um, well... A success here. Uh, check out the recipe in the description box below. If you make this and you do some kind of variation, let us know. This is a great recipe. If you missed cereal, you can totally make this and have it in the morning for breakfast. I mean, who knew? Um, well, if you like this video, be sure to share it with everyone you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought. And, um, and we'll catch you in the next video. Until then, stay keto.